Hi, do you know that uh, 80% of our success actually depends on emotional quotient, EQ instead of IQ. And what is EQ? Q stands for quotient, E stands for emotional. So if you have very high EQ, it means you are very good at handling emotion and also relationship. So Q is quotient. Quotient is something divided by something. Welcome back to Siri Pichara Kimiawa. In this video, we are going to look at what is reaction function Q, the use of it, and how to determine Q. Now, what is actually reaction function Q? Q is actually simply a ratio of products to the reactants for a reaction at a certain time. So, it has the same form as K, equilibrium constant K. The only difference is that concentration we use in the expression of Q may not be the concentration at equilibrium. So the use of Q is actually for us to figure out what is the direction of a reaction before they reach equilibrium. Okay, so let's see what does the Q value tell us. So if you have a number line like this, Q actually may have a value ranging from 0 to infinity. So what does this mean? If you look at the expression, uh, Q is actually written as the concentration of product to the concentration of reactant. So we can write concentration of product, PCL3, concentration of chlorine, this is the reactant. PCL5 and you find that this is actually the product and this is the reactants. So what happened when Q is equal to zero? It means we are just at the starting point of a reaction and they are all reactants. There's not even any products produced. So that is the first stage. And then when the uh, reaction progress to the most extreme part then we have all the products produced and there's no more reactants now let's say this is a range from 0 1 10 1000 okay let's say for this reaction the K value is 5.3 so this is 5.3 So this is K. So if the Q value is exactly equal to K, Q equal to K, what does this mean? It means the system is already at equilibrium. You don't need to do any movement because the rate of forward will be equal to the rate of backward. And if Q is smaller, smaller, let's say Q is say 2, Q is smaller. So, in order for Q to reach K to become equilibrium, so what will Q do? We will need to produce more products. And the reaction will try to shift to the right. So, same thing if Q is larger than K. Let's say Q that we calculate is 100. Q is larger. So, in order for Q to become K, we need to move to the left. So Q will move, the reaction will move to the left. And we will need to produce more reactants towards the reactants. Okay, so we can use some tricks actually to remember the direction of a net reaction. So let's say if I have Q larger than K. So we just follow the direction for the shark. So imagine this is the mouth of a shark. Greater. So this is the teeth of the shark. So you can see that the mouth is facing uh, left, left hand side. So the reaction will try to proceed to the left. If Q is smaller than K, so it looks like that this is the mouth of a 
shark. So the shark is chasing something towards the right. So you can use this trick to remember what are the net direction if you have Q comparing to K. So let's look at one example. We have PCL5 producing uh, PCL3 and CL2. KC is given. And we are given all the concentration at 40 degrees Celsius. The question asks, is the system at equilibrium? If not, which direction is the reaction likely to proceed? So what we need to do first is we need to write down the Q expression. So Q is the ratio of product concentration. This is the product. And this will be the reactant. So concentration of product. So we have two products here, PCL3 and chlorine. Then we have one reactant, PCL5. All the coefficient is 1, so you don't need to raise to any uh, power. And we need to put in the concentration, so PCL3, the concentration is given as 0 0.2. Cl2 concentration is given as 0 0.3 and PCL5 the concentration is 0 0.5 and we calculate the answer is 0 0.12 so is the system at equilibrium so we look at the uh, Q and the K value are they the same? So Q is smaller than than uh, sorry than K. K because Q is 0 0.12, K is 10. So Q is not equal to K. So is the system at equilibrium? No, the system is not at Equilibrium. Uh, because since Q is not equal to K, but because Q is smaller, so remember Q can has a value from zero to infinity, and here Q is smaller than K. In order to become K, the net Direction has to have a net direction to the to the right. So the reaction will shift to the right. Okay. Do you remember the mouth of a shark is also telling us the reaction will shift to the right. Okay. So in this video, we have learned what is reaction quotient Q, what is the use of it, and how to predict the direction of a net reaction before they reach equilibrium. So remember, Q may have a value from 0 to infinity. So if Q is smaller than K, the reaction will tend to shift to the right towards producing more products. If Q is larger than K, then the reaction will tend to shift to the left 